What you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at adware, bloatware and crapware. Basically stuff which is predominant on the internet right this second. You can download this stuff all day long and it gets on the system and chugs up the system and makes it really slow. Now there's also um, a case where when you, even you buy brand new computers, you get a brand new computer and it comes bundled with bloatware, i.e. trialware software, freeware, stuff that you never ask for. Even programs like Norton Trialware that can get bundled on there for a 30 day trial and uh, basically what happens is the trialware runs out and then people get infected. This is exactly what happens. So what can we do to get rid of all this bloatware on the system? Well there's a few options open to us. We've got shouldiremoveit.com that's another site you can go to which has a program you can download okay and when you download this it will run a diagnostics of your system and find out uh, what is bad and what's good now you can go through here and look at the little graph here and it will give you an idea of what's on your system and what they recommend you can remove now they also have a great um, site which gives you a lot of other information on particular brands i.e. Toshiba Sony, Lenovo, Dell, HP, Asus and Acer and stuff like that and it gives you the type of um, models with the type of bloatware that comes all pre-packed on these uh, systems which I think is really useful and it gives you an idea of what you can remove and what they recommend you should remove and not remove okay and you can just click on these and uh, it will give you that information also if you click on the programs area it gives you a list of the most common programs and stuff like that and it's got a really big massive list of stuff as you can see here top publishers and these are all uh, publishers with certain types of programs so you've got um, this one here you click on this and it will give you all the lists of the programs that they bundle into their systems or onto the internet where you download them as you can see here it gives you an idea of what's bad and what's not bad. That's why I like this site so much. Another one you've got is called the PC Decrapifier. Okay, there's a free tool that you could use, uh, which I've heard a lot of people talk about. I don't really particularly use this one myself, um, but there's a lot of PC uh, techs that use this one. And another one which is called Decrap. So Decrap is works in a similar way to the other ones work, whereas it will scan your system and it will try to find uh, bloatware on your system and it also works well with Asus HP and stuff like that. Okay so now we've talked about the programs let's have a look at, um, at one of them in action so I'm just going to quickly fire up should I remove it here. Now I've already pre-installed this on there okay and uh, I've not put loads of stuff on this system I'm just going to give you a quick idea of what happens uh, when you install it okay. So once you've installed it, it will load up like so. It's just getting details from their server. Now some of these type, some of these programs might need you to um, allow it to go through on your um, antivirus program and stuff like that. They do get detected as false positives. As you can see here, it's already found some stuff on the system, and you can see here my fast PC, all this rubbish that can easily get put onto the system okay now I've not laden this with loads of bloatware I just wanted to give you an idea of the program and you can see here um, the red one here which is saying you should definitely remove that and you can go through your list and uh, remove whatever you like to remove okay and here you click on this like so and then you can click on uninstall if you want to get rid of this that's what you do you just click on that and say yes and that will start to uninstall that program okay this is the beauty of this program it's much more easier to use than some of the other ones some of the other ones it'll just run and remove a big bunch of stuff so if you want to remove something you just come down into your list and then click uninstall pretty simple stuff let me just do this one here and then we'll move on to something else okay we're gonna automatically close that program it's running so it wants me to close it 
it's saying here are you sure you want to close yes we do and we want to get rid of it okay so that's been taken care of let me just show you another program so we're going to look at uh, dcrap my computer which is another similar program to this now you can also run with dcrap uh, an automatic mode which will actually run through and close the programs and remove them and stuff like that if you wish okay manual I find is probably going to be a better way to do things unless you're a busy technician and you could just run that so it's just generating a list now you can see here this one doesn't give you the Andy little uh, graph on the side of what's bad and what's good and and uh, and stuff like that you have to sort of have a bit more knowledge on this type of program but you get the general idea you can put your ticks in to whatever you need to remove and then you can push next and it will remove those from the system so that's basically how you can remove crap from your system or bloatware or adware or any of that type of stuff off your system whether it be a new system or whether it be an old system and stuff that you've downloaded okay so i hope this helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope you really enjoy these videos. Uh, also, if you want to get subscribed to my channel, then hit the subscribe button. And uh, that will also keep you up to date when I upload new videos, guys. Okay. So thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.